Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Warren Buffett has been on the move recently, doing some crazy things with Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio. In fact, 50%, almost 50% of Berkshire Hathaway's investable portfolio has been moved into one incredibly safe bet. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. All right, guys, so Warren Buffett, the man, the myth, the legend, widely regarded as one of the greatest investors in history, has a proven track record, and under Buffett's leadership, Berkshire Hathaway has achieved compound annualized returns of, get this, guys, 19.8% since 1965, nearly doubling the 10.2% average return of the S&P 500. And over a 58 year period, Berkshire's total returns have been 140 times that of the S&P 500. Buffett's investment decisions, particularly his portfolio changes, command global attention. And he's been making significant moves recently. Let's look at just some of the, some, really some of his philosophy when it comes to the historic approach to his investment decisions. So Buffett is known for making large, concentrating investments in individual companies. For example, between 2016 and 2018, Buffett invested approximately $36 billion into Apple. At its peak, Apple represented nearly 50% of Berkshire Hathaway's equity portfolio. Well, Buffett recently sold $75 billion worth of Apple stock, cutting the position nearly in half. Of course, the reason for that was to take advantage of the current corporate tax rates before they expire in 2025 and possibly to reduce exposure to a fully valued stock. But then also with the Bank of America, Buffett acquired a large position in Bank of America in 2017 through warrants buying at a bargain price of $7.14 per share. He added to that position over time, though recent sales indicate a shift. In Q3 2024, Berkshire sold $7.2 billion worth of Bank of America shares following a similar tax saving strategy as with Apple. The average selling price, more than $40 per share, nearly six times the acquisition cost. And that brings us to his most recent investment trend, and that is to sell stocks and shift them, shift the money to safer assets. For the past seven quarters, Buffett has been a net seller of stocks. In Q3 alone, 2024, Berkshire continued this trend, making two years of consistent net selling. And he's transitioning to a short-term treasury build. That's right. Proceeds from stocks, stock sales are being funneled, guys, into short-term treasury bills. Now look at the strategy, guys. Berkshire's treasury holdings have grown by $94 billion in the first half of 2024 alone. As of Q2 2024, Berkshire held $277 billion in treasury bills and cash. And that position, guys, is expected to approach $300 billion if no large acquisitions were made in recent months. His current treasury portfolio is nearly half of Berkshire's $600 billion investment portfolio. That's absolutely insane. Here's a strategy though with the treasury bills. Here's why he's doing it. Buffett prefers treasury bills maturing within six months or less, right? Avoiding those longer dated government bonds due to their higher interest rate risks. The inverted yield curve has allowed short-term bonds to yield more than long-term bonds. And the anticipated Federal Reserve interest rate cuts could lower short-term yields, reducing future interest income for Berkshire. So while Buffett has expressed comfort holding hundreds of billions in treasuries, declining rates may actually prompt him to seek other investments. So put this all together, guys, and what does it mean for us as investors? Well, Buffett realized, guys, manages 100 
$1.5 trillion conglomerate with over $600 billion in investable assets, limiting the scope of investments that can make a significant impact on Berkshire's returns. Here's the advantage though that you and I have as retail investors. Retail investors have the advantage of a wider range of investment options and smaller capital, making it easier to find value. Buffett's portfolio decisions suggest fewer fewer bargains in the market, right? But there's still a ton of attractive opportunities for long-term stock investments. So while Buffett's moves may be tempting to follow, his circumstances are different from those of individual investors. Buffett advises consistency in investing, and that is something that I agree with, guys. Adding to stock positions over time regardless of the market conditions. So, put all this together, wrap it up in a nice little present for you, here it is. Buffett's recent moves reflect a careful balancing of tax strategy, risk management, and market conditions. Although he's shifting towards safer assets like treasury bills, individual investors should focus on maintaining long-term positions in stocks to maximize growth potential over time. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Leave a like on this video to support the channel and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll catch you again tomorrow with another video.